in this episode we are going to solve and determine whether a series is converging or diverging using the integral test so we have to evaluate the function or the series given so our solution first our series is given a summation from n to 1 to infinity of 2n on 3n squared plus 4. So, three things we have to determine in order to conclude that we can use the integral test is to test if the series is positive, if it is decreasing, and if it is decreasing, is it continuous within the given limits? So straight away, we know that the first derivative of the function will help us to determine if it is decreasing and the continuous of the interval. So the interval now is one towards infinity. But for the positive, we can always see that if we put in any value, between 1 to infinity into the original state, it is also going to give us a positive value. Is that true? And we can even see that when we put in any value from 1 to infinity, we are going to have it decreasing. But since we are not sure if the continuous is really from 1 to infinity, then we have to use the pair derivative to establish that's very good because from here you can see it may be continuous from one to infinity by the time you use the first derivative it may not be continuous so let's use it. so first we must first find the derivative so this is testing for decreasing within the interval given so the first derivative of the function is going to be v u prime minus u v prime on v square where here our v is going to be 3 n square plus 4 and our u is going to be what 2 n how we good so this means we are going to have v to be 3 n square plus 4 by the derivative of this that is going to be what 2 minus u which is 2 n the derivative of this that is going to give us what 6x everything on 3n squared plus 4 all squared when we simplify this we are going to get from here we are going to get 6 let's use the x so here is x 6x squared plus what 8 so all the n they are x now x so that is going to give us what minus 12 x square everything on 30 x square plus 4 all square further simplification is going to give us 8 this and this that is going to give us negative 6 x square everything on 30 x square plus 4 so this is the expression for the first derivative. Now let's test from 1 to infinity. If we are going to always have here negative. Remember, the first derivative should always give you a negative to know that yes, it is really what decreasing. So when we pick the value of 1 and put it at the value of x, so let's say this is going to be 8 minus 6 1 that is 6 that is 1 squared still 1 by 3 by 1 3 plus 4 this is going to give us this value is going to be 2 on what 7 this is a positive value so meaning when we choose 1 it is not negative so 1 should not be part of the interval are we okay because it is not obeying the rule what if we choose from 2? Now, when we put in value of 2, so that is going to be 8 
by 2 square on 32 square plus 4. What are we getting? We are getting a negative value, right? Yes. That is going to be what? Negative. So that means from 2, 3, 4 up to infinity. So 2 to infinity. If we put them inside the first derivative, if we are going to get negative values. Meaning it is going to be continuous from negative 2 to infinity because 1 was given a positive value. So meaning from testing here, it is positive. We saw that even from that place, it is decreasing. But the continuous is going to be continuous from 2 to infinity. So you have to always use the pair derivative to test if it is decreasing within a given there's going to be the examples you get where the two also give positive it will only start from five to infinity so you have to test till you get the range all right so here we have that so since all the very things are established we can use the integral test so our summation from n is equal to 1 to infinity of a function 2n on 3n squared plus 4 can be written as we having a function of x equal to 2x on 3x squared plus 4. So here if we are to bring the integral sign that means we are going to have from 2 to infinity on 3x squared plus 4 dx. But since this is an improper integral, we are going to have integral. Let's introduce the limits. That is going to be limit. We use b to approach infinity from 2 to b of the same function 2x on 3x squared plus 4 dx. Are we good? All right, so here we can use a, a method of substitution by letting u to be equal to this. We can also solve it that way. But I can also use the dy on dx formula where if you, so this is integration. The integration formula where if the numerator is the derivative of the denominator dx, the answer is going to be ln of the denominator f of x are we good so i can if i differentiate this this is going to give me what 6x so how do i make the top 6x i can multiply through by one 3 on 3 which will cancel out i say limit as b approaches what infinity of 2 to b 2x on 3x square plus 4 now I'll bring this ferry inside to multiply. This is going to be 1 on ferry limit of b approaching infinity. 2 to b, this is going to give me 6x on ferry x squared plus 4. So now the integral is going to give us 1 on ferry limit of b approaching infinity of the natural log of 3x squared plus 4. Then limit of 1. So that means we are starting from 2. 2 to b. Now let's put in the values. So 1 on 3 limit of b approaching infinity of natural log 3b squared plus 4 minus natural log of 3 by 2 square plus 4. Now, the natural log of b, which is approaching a very large value, will also approach infinity. So this whole place is giving us infinity. Now, the limit of this is going to give us limit of 16. So whatever value we subtract from infinity, we are still going to land at what? 
infinity. And now, since the integration is what? Landing at in infinity, which means it is diverging, the entire series is going to what? Diverge. So from the integral test, this whole series is going to what? Diverge. Since it is approaching infinity. Now let's solve example two. Example two will help us to also understand certain things. Now example two. We are to use the integral test to evaluate this function or this series to see if it is going to converge or diverge. So very simple. We have our series given n is equal to 1 to infinity of 1 on n plus 2 all squared. Now let's test if it is positive, continuous with the interval and also decreasing. So now positive from 1 to infinity. Any value you put in place of the n is going to give you a positive value. And even with the decreasing, any value you put from 1 to infinity at the value of n, as the value of n is going to get smaller from 1 to 2 to 3, it is going to be smaller. Are we okay? But with the interval, is it the limit or the integral? Is it going to start from 1 to infinity? Let's establish that from the first derivative. So first, let me expand this on square. This is going to give us n squared plus what? 4n plus 4. So this is it. So here I'm going to get my first derivative to be v u prime u v prime on v squared. My u is going to be 1 and my v is going to be the n squared plus 4n plus 4. This is going to be v n squared plus 4n plus 4 multiplying u squared which is 0 minus 1. The derivative of this that is going to be what? 2n plus 4. Everything on n squared plus 4n plus 4 all squared. Now, or this whole power will go to zero. So we are going to get negative 2n negative 4 on, let me pick the n plus 2 or square, which is the same as this part. So you can see that whatever value of n you put inside this, because of the numerator, you are going to get a negative outcome. Right? There's no positive outcome from 1 to infinity. So negative 2 multiplied by 1 minus 4 negative. You put in any value between the interval, the final answer is going to come out as negative. And because of that, the interval is continuous and the function is always decreasing. It is positive when we test from this side and we are good to use the integral tests. So straight away we are going to say our summation from 1 to infinity of 1 on n plus 2 all square can be represented by f of x 1 on x plus 2 all square. Are we okay? So if we Bring our integration that is going to be from 1 to infinity of 1 on x plus 2 or square dx. Since this is an improper integral, we will introduce our limits. b approaches infinity of 1 to b 1 on x plus 2 or square dx. 
All right, so how do we integrate this? We can use the method of substitution where we can say let our u be equal to x plus 2 such that du dx will be equal to 1, which implies that du is equal to what? dx. So our expression is going to be limit as b. So if you want tutorials on calculus, then check out for the playlist of calculus. You understand how we go by such differentiation and integration. So this is going to be integral from 1 to b, 1 on, now this is going to be u square, the dx is going to be what? u. Are we good? This is the same as limits as b approaches infinity. 1 to b of u negative this u. Is that right? So if we are to integrate this, we are going to what? Add 1 to it, then divide by negative 2 plus 1. So this is going to give us Limit as b approaches infinity of this will result in what? Negative 1 on u. 1 to b right from here. So we are going to get u negative 1 on negative 1. So that is going to be negative. The u will come down as positive 1. All right, so let's put in the values. This is the same as limits as b approaches infinity of negative 1 on x plus 2, 1 to b. So we are going to have limits as b approaches infinity of negative 1 on b plus 2 minus negative 1 on 1 plus 2. Please pay attention here. All right. So let's look at this. Negative 1 on a very large value, 9999 9, 9, 9, plus another 2. We are approaching zero. Neg it will be negative 0, 0.00, which is approximately what? Zero. So this whole part is going towards zero. So we are going to have negative to negative. That is going to be positive. This is going to be positive one on fair. So this is a definite value. Are we okay? All right. So since the integration is giving us definite value, that means the series is going to what? Converge. Are we okay? So at the end of the day, the whole series. So after testing, this series with the integral test is going to what? Converge. Since the integral is converging. All right. So this is very simple. And we've seen how we can change the upper limits. Not always starting from one if the condition is not favorable. So if you don't understand anything, play the video once again and try to understand. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video and drop a comment. See you in the next episode for a different test. Thank you.